Hey guys, Jimmy Yen here uh, with Achieve Integrated Health, and today is Tuesday. Tuesday, we're talking about we're going to talk about Treatment Tuesday, and uh, we're going to talk about a case that we have right now, where uh, a patient who has diabetes. We treat a lot of diabetes. Uh, diabetes is let me move this down though is very closely related to neuropathy. Uh, we are the neurology acupuncture specialist uh, here in Austin, and so. Diabetes can, can cause neuropathy, but we're not gonna talk about neuropathy today. We're just gonna talk about diabetes. And so we have an interesting case uh, right now where this diabetic, her blood sugar um, is bouncing like up and down. It's going from, like she'll get readings from like 100 to like 450. So she'll have a fasting blood sugar going from 100 to 450, just to w within one day, she will have this fluctuation. Now, this is super, very, very dangerous, okay? Here's the thing that we tell our diabetic patients. When we help people um, help their body restore or reverse their diabetes, there's a two-step process. So step one, step one, Step one is you want to reduce the fluctuations, so stabilize. Stabilize. Step two is then to lower it, okay? So step number two is then to lower. Okay, so if you do these the opposite, uh, in the opposite order, like you lower it before you stabilize it, that's where you get complications. You know, because uh, I think I talked about this yesterday or the week, uh, last week, that complications from diabetes, you can have kidney failure, you can have eye problems, uh, vision damage, you can have uh, neuropathy, nerve damage, right? And so if you do step two before you do step one, that's where you get the problems. And that's what's happening in the, in, in, you know, in our current medical system. Our current medical system is let's first lower it as fast as we can and, and then try to stabilize it second, right? Which is the wrong way and that's why it doesn't reverse uh, diabetes. When you do it step two first before you do step one, so that this is the key to our success, is we do it step one is to stabilize it first. So what does that mean? So when someone's blood sugar is fluctuating like that, they're going like this, they're like this, right? And so what does this look like? This looks like what, a typical diet, right? You know, we've heard of the yo-yo diets, right? And we all know that yo-yo diets don't work in the sense that they don't create a sustainable weight loss, right? Blood sugar is the same thing. When your blood sugar is bouncing up and down like this, you're not gonna have a stable uh, decrease in your blood sugar. Your insulin resistance is not going to get better. So step one is to stabilize. So stabilize means to do this. We want it to fluctuate like this, instead of this. That's step one. So this is step one, stabilize, okay? When, when you have this, you can also, what other small capillaries are there in your body? In your brain, so you could be at risk for a stroke when your blood sugar fluctuates like this between 100 and 400 in one single day, right? And so this is what we told our patient is, we wanna make sure we stabilize it first. Even if her blood sugar was at, let's see, even if it was at 200 to 300, if it was at 200 to 300, right? 200 to 300, yes, that's still terrible, but that's a whole lot better than this, 100 to 400. So our first step is to stabilize it, okay? Once we stabilize it, then we can slowly work on bringing it down, okay? And when that happens, you can have the insulin, reverse the insulin resistance, you can have a better stabilization of your blood sugar, you uh, and you, your body, okay, we don't reverse diabetes, let me clarify that, we don't reverse diabetes, we help your body, your body can reverse diabetes. And so if you, ha if you do it these, right, the, these exact steps, uh, again, the conventional medical system is they, they try to lower it as fast as they can, and how do they lower it? They give you medications, 
and they give you insulin. They give you meds to lower your blood sugar and they give you insulin to instantly drop your blood sugar, right? Now, how do we know that that doesn't work? Well, this patient, the reason why she's fluctuating, she's been fluctuating since day one and they gave her medicine, uh, medications and insulin and it made the fluctuation even worse. So that's how we know. We, we learn from our patients that when, when you do step two first, you try to lower the blood sugar as fast as you can. When you do that first, you actually get worse fluctuations, which means your body's getting worse, your diabetes is getting worse. So this is how we help our patients help their bodies reverse their diabetes uh, by following these two steps. So this is our secret sauce, all right guys? This is Jimmy Yen from Achieve Integrative Health. If you know somebody who has fluctuating diabetes, um, you need to get send them this information uh, for this post, send them this post, or tell them to give us a call, 512-260-1710, um, achieveintegrativehealth.com, achieveintegrativehealth.com, um, and so that we can help them do our two-step recipe success formula for re re helping their body reverse their diabetes. All right, guys, Jimmy Yen from Achieve Integrative Health. Um, when you think of acupuncture, you're gonna think of Achieve Integrative Health.